Hello, hello, Tatum here. Thank you for joining me for this large circuit mixed with strength and cardio exercises that will humble even the most loyal subscriber. There are some exercises that involve jumping, so listen to my cues for modifications. Now let's get to it. All right, hello, hello, Tatum here. Thank you for joining me. Today I have a 45 minute total body conditioning workout. We're gonna work head to toe. We're gonna have cardio in here as well. So work your intervals where you need to. We'll talk about that as we go. For today's equipment, all I have is a set of 15s and a set of 20s. You can sprinkle some other weight around if needed. We are going to start with some abs today, but let's move through our joints just a bit to warm up. And we're gonna do a walk out here into a high plank, okay? So let's bring our hands down, walk it out into a high plank, and then walk it back in. We're gonna come up with a small back bend. There you go. Walk it out, high plank, walk it in, back bend. Nice work. Give me two more like this, on out, and in, up high, bend back, nice and gently, don't go too far there. On out, and in, and back bend. Nice work. Let's walk it right back out, we're gonna come down to our belly, arms out wide, we're gonna go scorpion, and we're just gonna rock and roll right into that shoulder and chest, very gently, back and forth here, just opening up, there you go. Put that foot down behind, we don't have to hold it out here anywhere, just kinda tap it behind. Stop yourself from rolling too far, get a little twist in the spine as well. There we go, a couple more, side to side. Nice work, let's find that high plank. Let's push back into down dog or a pike here. Heels down if you can get there and back out. If you're having trouble getting those heels down, go a little bit wider with those feet and see if that helps. Push back, really push into the shoulders. Out to high plank and back, nice work. Let's bring that left foot up and we're gonna rock it forward and back here for one, two, three, four, and five, tap down with that knee, one, two, three, four, and five. Nice work, step it back, right leg forward, your hands are inside that foot there, we're gonna rock. If you need to be high too, sorry, we can go a little bit higher for this on that rock, okay? Pushing off the back toes, one, two, three, four, and five, good, tap down with that knee, one, two, three, four, and five. Nice work, bring that other foot in. We're gonna come down to the ground here, touch, or you can come between your knees, either one will work. And I just want you to rotate, look up towards that ceiling, nice and high. There you go, bring it back down, rotate, look up. There you go, bring it back down. We're about to get into some ab or core work here in strength, so get ready for it. We'll stay at the floor. We'll bring it up with a little cardio and we'll get started. We have a large circuit today. One of my favorites, I love large circuits. It's been a while, I've been breaking up the workouts. So we'll see how that goes. There we go. On up, last one, good. Touch those toes, drop that bottom, lift that bottom, drop the bottom and lift. Last one, drop and lift and slowly come up to the top. Here we go down at the floor. I'm gonna grab a little weight for this. We don't need weight, so let's first just get into our dead bug here, knees up, and all we're gonna do is pull over. We're gonna extend one leg, kick high if we need to, and then pull over and crunch, okay? So let's work here. We only have about 30 seconds or so pulling over. Next time, we'll go with weights. We are gonna go through twice here. So let's just start here, working our dead bug. If that's hard, just hold. Instead of moving with that pullover, we'll work on drawing in and keeping that back at the floor, all right? That's rest. We're going with a right side plank here. I took it a little longer. Let's start with modified. Knees here, elbow under shoulder, all right? Hold it there, hips up. If that's easy, we're gonna maybe kick out this leg or we're gonna find a toe to heel. Okay, that helps with a little bit of balance, it's still tough and we can also stack it, shoulders are stacked. I'm gonna hold it here. This is a 45 second hold today. We've been doing tons of 30s. I take a lot of people through 30s, but we need to push past that 30, that comfort zone, 
get a little uncomfortable here. Again, some of us will be at our knees and that's okay. Or maybe you've been here for 30 with that last 15 you're just not sure about, then you can drop down to those knees and keep planking, okay? All right, here we go, keep holding. We'll get back to that left side. All right, nice work. We're gonna get back to the left, but we're gonna go into a hollow hold here on our back. So I want you to bring the, let's start high with the feet. Pull them on down, on down until you start to feel that arch. If you feel an arch, stop there. If you don't, keep going. We're gonna bring our hands overhead here. We're holding and we're gonna bring our arms around and just move them into a little snow angel. Now, you could bring those feet up and lay your head down here and still work on drawing in or you can come up and hold the upper and lower part of the body here, okay? Either way, three, two, and one, woo, great job. Left side plank, okay? Again, start with bent knees. We want good form. We don't wanna be using all these other muscles and really straining to be here, okay? This is enough work. We want a little bit of an arch here, shoulder stack. All right, hips are forward. If you want, take it toe to heel. That would be your next step. And if you're there, or are stacked feet, okay? Arm up if you want, that just helps us kind of keep those shoulders stacked. We don't want to be here holding on because that means we're not using, we're not really working as hard, okay? We're trying to, I don't want to say cheat, but we're trying to help ourselves. So if that's the case, if you have to do this or this, you need to be at your knees, okay? We want to be able to hold our body up without any effort. We don't want to roll forward. That takes the work out of it. And we don't want to push the hips back because that also takes work out of it. So hips up, little arch here if you can. There we go, three, two, and one, nice work. All right, butterfly glute bridge. We're gonna lay down on our back, bring those feet together, open the knees. Here we go, tuck the pelvis just a bit, squeeze and lift. Keep a little bit of a tuck on that pelvis if you tend to have quite a bit of an arch in that lower back, okay? Just a little tuck, there we go, squeeze and lift. That's it, nice work. We're gonna go one more time through this core now that we've got it all down. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Back to that pullover dead bug. And remember, you can just practice holding here and kicking out. If you wanna pull over with me, you can. I'm gonna grab a 15 pound weight for this now. Here we go. So I'm gonna extend my leg as my arms are extended and crunch up with bent knees extend and we're working here okay join me with or without weight and with or without the upper body pull over we can just work on extending the leg and drawing in bracing here with this weight i'm really feeling my rib cage expand here like a little press a little bracing and then i'm working on drawing in at the same time on this give me one more and we're into that side plank there you go nice work all right, right side plank. Modify for your needs today. Bent knees, I like to start here, just get into position. Hips are up, forward, shoulder stack. Once I have that, I work myself my way out. Heel to toe, we're stacked. There you go, 45 seconds of work here. Now, it's one thing just to lift our body, but I want you to push those hips up towards the ceiling and forward. I don't want you arching or leaning back. Just make sure they're in line with the head and the spine. Shoulder over elbow, there you go the plank. All right, we got it. We're stiff as a board here. Breathe. 12 more seconds. If you have to modify because this is a long 45 for you, start modifying. Take it toe to heel or take it down to the bent knees. Three, two, and one. Nice work. That's one way to get stronger. We drop set our weights to get stronger. Oops. We're going to go into a hollow hold snow angel here. All right, find your hollow hold. For some people, it might be here with the legs straight up. For some of us, it'll be a little bit lower. If you're there, you can move those arms on around. Hollow hold for the little snow angel. Not that I like snow, but I like angels, so that's fine. <laughs> we'll take part of that. 10 seconds here. If you start to feel that lower back, bring those feet up or draw in harder, brace harder. Three, two, and one, rest, all right, nice work. Left side plank coming up. Let's start with those bent knees, get into position, hips up, forward. We got it, if you're there, heel to toe. 
All right, or stacked, and we're working 45 seconds here. If you made it 45 seconds with stacked feet, nice work. I wanna build you there, that is your goal. Work on it at home, keep practicing. It comes, I, I will tell you that I don't practice these a lot. Started to get back into yoga and some things and we were doing a lot and wow, the strength, the strength and the stability that comes from it, okay? Don't neglect these, try to work on it in your planks. There we go, hold, hips forward, hips up, breathe. We're there, we're there, you got this. Here we go, three, two, and one. Hua. Good job. Glute bridge, butterfly, just getting that bum on. Here we go, knees wide, feet together. Tuck the pelvis a bit, this kind of puts me in this little anterior tilt arch, so I'm gonna pull it down just a bit. Squeeze the glutes and lift, there you go. Up and down. Barely tapping down, still trying to keep a slight tuck. Here we go. Not completely, but just a little. There you go. Squeeze and lift. Try not to let go of that squeeze. Even though we set our hips down, try to keep squeezing and keep that contraction in the glutes the whole time. Don't let go of it. It's easy to forget about it and just let it go. All right. We're gonna grab a little weight. I'm gonna say five, eights, tens, or fifteens. We're gonna find our balance here. I want you to step back, weight in right hand, step back with that right leg, come up to a curl to press with balance and stick. Pull those toes up. All right, we got it, we got it. We're gonna stay with this one side here, and then we'll flip sides. Good, that's it, back down. All the way, we're just finding balance. Maybe you don't even wanna use weight right now, Maybe you just want to move your arm through the motion, or not even move your arm, maybe you just want to step back and find this, the stick, without the movement, okay? We're all at different places. We're gonna go to the other side here. Woo, find that balance. Three, two, and one. Awesome work. Left hand, left leg's going back. Three, two, and one. Let's see if we can find balance on the other side. Not my best side, oh, but we got it today. All right, there you go, step back, come up, curl to press. If you're really losing your balance here, before you curl to press, come up, get that knee there, stick it, and then see if you can curl to press once you have balance, okay? Sometimes it's hard to find it while we're moving, so we need to come up and find it before we curl to press. So not too heavy here, I could even go a little bit lighter. We're just warming up. We're not really trying to build strength. We're just trying to work on balance here. There we go. Core stability. Whoop. Through movement. hoo And that's rest. Take a quick sip. We're going in, right into cardio. I know my heart rate's building. Let's just jog it out here. Oh, sorry, let's march. Let's march. We're gonna march. We're gonna build here. 30 seconds of marching. We're gonna take a couple minutes here to bring that heart rate up because today is a total body conditioning workout. That means I have added some blast. A little bit of hit, a little bit of higher intensity, call it hit, hit, but higher intensity intervals in there after each strength. So get ready for that. We'll talk about how to modify if you're not there today. All right, we're gonna jog it in place now. Here we go. Just move those arms, get moving around. If you wanna move around in your space, Go ahead, back and forth. Sometimes that feels better than staying on the spot. All right, so today, again, with our intervals, we're gonna move through. We'll have a minute to talk about this soon. But I just want you to know, when we do conditioning, we add that cardio and it can affect our strength because we get too tired to do our strength. So with that being said, maybe today, if you're just showing up, you want your strength, leave off my 30 second cardios and find rest there. A great option rest and if you're looking for cardio you can join in for 15 or 20 seconds and then drop it okay all right butt kicks here now heels up there you go and again we can move around in our spot here we go lift those heels and you can take, take it low here you don't have to balance like i am all right Stay low if you want. I'm gonna add some modifications 
to some of this jumping and plyo today. We do have a little bit of that. So I'll try to give you options in between as well if you're not just gonna rest. Three, two, and one. All right, A skip, so we're just gonna skip here. It's fun. <laughs> All right, back and forth, move in your space if you want, or stay on the spot right here. We got it, 30 seconds. Woo! I had a days of rest yesterday, and I can tell it feels good. You know, if you start showing up to your workouts, dreading it, either one, the workout's not for you, that type of workout, <laughs> or you're just tired, all right, and drained, take a day off. Do some yoga, stretching, foam rolling. Go for a long walk if you still want to move, but rest. All right, there we go. We're resting. Take a sip of water. It was hard for me to hold back yesterday, but I feel better today. All right. And you get other things done. Maybe check off some other things that are causing you stress in your life, huh? All right. So that's a good warm up. That was about 12 minutes, I think. I think we're gonna go through eight exercises today. Eight exercises in a row. I'm not really giving us a whole lot of rest, about 15 seconds to transition from exercise to exercise. We'll have 30 seconds after round one and we'll go back. If you need more time, Pause, take a minute or two before the second round. Take two rounds instead of three. These are all your modifications. There's no reason you can't show up here. All right, we modify, you hold back. All right, so on the even numbers today, you can take those out entirely, rest for 30 seconds, or work them 15 to 20. Listen to my modifications, I'm gonna really try to give them to you. We have a split squat, body weight, or dumbbells. I'm going with dumbbells, right foot forward, left foot back. Up and down, we wanna be on railroad tracks, not a tightrope, here's a tightrope, woo! Balance is not there. Find the uh, railroad tracks. But also be careful, because a lot of times they get people with it out here and their knees coming in. Line up your toes, line up your knees. We're nice and stable, chest is up. We're coming straight up and down, okay? A lot of times we start to slide forward in this, we get too close in here, all right? Let me show you from the other side. We're gonna switch, left foot forward, right foot back. So watch when I come down, I'm in 90 degrees. Look in a mirror if you have one there, 90 degrees up and down. So sometimes we come in here, we start, we have to, we start to fall forward because we're too close. We can't keep that body upright. Sometimes we really slide forward into this instead of coming straight up and down. Oh boy, legs are tired. We can do it. Eight seconds here. We got it. Five, four, three, Two and one, here comes our higher intensity. All right, your options, I'm gonna give you the modification, is to step back here for four counts and then go into mountain climbers or just stay here or just find your mountain climbers. Everybody else, here we go, we're in jump lunge. One, two, three, four, we're coming down to the floor, we're gonna find four mountain climbers. One, two, three, and four, we're coming back up. Again, jump. Jump, 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 and we're down. One, two, three, and four. Anybody wants to modify? One, two, three, four, back down and tap it out. One, two, three, four, step it in and rest, okay? Options there, take them or leave them. Find one or the other, you don't have to do both together. Good morning, lightweight here to start. We're gonna bring this weight at our chest. I want you to find your neutral spine here. Stand tall, shoulders down. Hold on to that weight. We're gonna hinge. We're gonna kiss the back wall with our bottom. We're gonna let those knees bend because I will tell you most of us probably have some, some tight hamstrings there. We wanna soften those knees so we can keep that neutral spine. Push back almost to tabletop here. Upper body level to the floor, that's it. And I'm just holding this weight close. You can kind of hug him. Try not to touch my microphone. You can kind of hold it here and hug it into your biceps. Can you see that? And we're halfway. We're going a minute on these intervals. Nice and slow and controlled here. Don't rush it. Squeeze the glutes to stand. Push back. Squeeze to stand. Notice how my head follows my spine. All right, I don't want to be out here. Okay, get that head in line. We spend a lot of our days out here, here, you know, shrugging. Three, two, and one, nice work. All right, this is a toughie. Let me give you modified. 
You could just step out and touch and then squat. Step out, touch, and squat, touch, okay? If you're with me, you're a touch and then come out, jump side to side, okay? Here we go. So out, squat, out, squat, okay? I'm gonna go alternate in, out, whoopsie. Let's mess that up here. Here we go. Together, out, together, out. Just like that, together, out, together, and out. Kick it out. Otherwise, lateral lunge your way through it. This is tough. So it's almost like a jump squat to a single leg jump squat or a little jump lunge there, lateral lunge, okay? Otherwise, just step. Heart rate's up. We're gonna bring it down because we're gonna lay down on the floor. I have 20s here for reference. Palms in, elbows in. Here we go, press it out. I know the heart rate's high. I want you to focus on your breathing here and bringing it down. In through the nose, out through the mouth on that press. We can control it. Good, again, those intervals are long, they're 30 seconds. Take them 15 or 20, watch the clock. That way you have a little bit of rest before we get into the strength. Good. So we're building strength, but we're also working on our cardio today. Cardiovascular health here. We need both. We definitely need both. There are a lot of people who don't believe in cardio, who lift weights, or people who do cardio who don't believe in strength training. You really do need a combination of both. I want you to work on it. Alternate your days, if that helps. Or do your strength and get out and do your cardio later. Woo, three, two, and one, rest. All right, great job. We're doing burpees, like it or not. I know, let's go modified first. Follow my lead for the modified, then we'll go into a full one. This is chest to ground. We're gonna get a little push up in there today. Three, two, and one. Here we go, hands down, step it out. From your knees or your toes, we'll come down to the floor. Chest hits the floor, we push back up. We walk it back in, we reach to the top. Got it? There's your modified, we're working. I'm gonna go full down. Jump, jump, okay? Down, up, yep, you got it. Don't throw yourself to the floor. Don't hurt, hurt your shoulders here. You wanna just drop, but you wanna drop with control. So maybe at first you just work on a slow push up and then come in and up. There you go. Rest, bulldog row. This is a tough one. Modified version, knees down. Knees down, you do the same thing, knees down. Otherwise, here we go everyone, we're gonna hover. We're gonna come up with those knees just above the floor. Give it a row. This is a full minute of hovering, so we may have to put our knees down halfway through. And row. Now, notice I'm not twisting my body. I don't wanna twist today. I want you to work on core stability here. All right, I want you to just pull with that back. So squeeze those glutes, tighten up the thighs, draw the navel in. Let's stay steady. We're halfway if that's enough for you. Or maybe you put your knees down and you continue from here. You did 30 seconds of good hard work there in that hover. You can drop the knees. Here you go, good work. We got it. Pull back, alternate. hoo -ah. Good, if that's really bugging you and you wanna kick it out, because those thighs are screaming, kick it out to a full plank, okay? Three, two, and one. I'm not giving you options to make it easy on yourself. Grab two weights. I mean, to make it doable, not too easy. Let's spread our weights out. We're gonna use them for a little reference. You don't have to use them. We're gonna do one, twos in with a stick. All right, so one, two, stick. One, two, stick. We're working. One, two, stick. One, two, stick, good. Back and forth over your weights for 30 seconds. Good, that's it. You got it. You can just do this without the weights. I don't want anyone rolling an ankle or stepping on a weight today. <laughs> you do you, you know yourself. <sighs> Three, two, and one rest. All right, way to go team. 30 seconds here, I think it's earned. Grab a quick sip of water, not too much, just a sip. As we're moving, we'll start to feel all of that. <laughs> all right, great job. 
Get that heart rate's really up. We only have 10 seconds. Have a minute or two here before you repeat. We have our split squats team. Right foot forward, left foot back, toes forward, railroad track, straight up and down. There you go. And I'm tapping all the way down, but what you don't know over there in the YouTube world here is that I'm five foot one, maybe two on a good day. I don't have too far to go. So remember, you could come down about 90 and press through just working there. Maybe we're not even there yet. That's okay, do your best to find balance. If the balance isn't there, drop your weights. Just work it without the weights. All right, nice work. We're gonna switch left foot forward, right foot back. Draw in and up. Nice stable core, here we go. That's it. Up, down, up, down. Chest is up. So I'm not collapsing here. If you're collapsing, look at your stance. Look at your stance. I see a lot of collapsing when we're in here. I can't keep my body upright and get in that position. So kick it back a bit. On that same note, don't kick it back so far that you can't balance. There should be about a 90 degree bend in both legs. All right, nice work. We have jump lunges to mountain climbers. Remember your options. Step it back, two, three, four, then down for your mountain climbers with tap outs, or just choose one or the other. At the four for mountain climbers or up with the kickbacks. I'm gonna jump lunges, one, two, three, four, and I'm down. One, two, three, and four, and I'm up. One, two, three, four, and I'm down. One, two, three, and four. You do you. Find your modification. Work with me here. Woo, we got it. One, two, three, four, and up. One, two, three, and time. Nice work. Moving on. Good mornings, okay? We should be able to get that heart rate in check during this. I'm gonna hug it, so watch. Just gonna kinda wrap my wrist around here into my biceps, all right? Here we go. Push those hips back and squeeze them forward. Stand. No, lean back. Stand tall. Here we go. Soften the knees. All right, if we don't soften those knees and we're tight, we'll start to round our back. Can you see how my legs are tight? Ooh, so soften so you can get into that neutral spine. If it helps, get to that wall. This is hinge, okay? We're gonna kick back. See if you can touch that butt to the wall. We're halfway if you need, only 30 seconds today. Touch back, there you go. Tip over, soften the knees, push the hips, touch that wall, kiss the wall. Kiss, there you go. <laughs> you got it, each time you feel it, there you go, that can help. Keep working, squeeze to stand, okay? Activate those glutes <sighs> to pull the hips into extension. Here we go, Woo! nice work. All right, this is that squat. Remember, you can touch down with a little squat and go into lateral lunge, squat, lateral lunge. If not, you're gonna squat, tap out, in, tap out. Three, two, and one, here we go. Squat, tap, squat, tap, good, that's it. Here, woo, or step it out. Alternating side to side. 30 seconds of work here. You got it. Push those hips back when you come down to the ground, okay? Here we're a little upright, and then we're over. We're gonna push back. There you go, three, two, and one. Rest, let's bring that heart rate down. We're going to the floor, that should do it. If it doesn't, don't be discouraged, it will as you continue to condition. Three, two, and one. Here we go, palms in, elbows in. Press it up over the chest, back down. Good. Exhale. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Get that heart rate in check. If it's not, start taking your intervals down. Or find rest during those 30 seconds. You just want the strength part. You want to push some heavier weight here on your split squats and your chest press and your good mornings. Maybe you want to get your barbells out. 
then please, you can do these strengths. Just take the cardio out, push it there. Just work pure strength, okay? hoo I'd say, oh boy, it's adding up. We got this, we're there. Come on, three, two, hoo, and one. Nice work. All right, oh boy. With that lovely chest press and bringing the heart rate down, we're gonna bring it up a notch with burpees. I will take you through that modified version again and then hit it high. Three, two, and one. Here we go, let's walk it out. Step, step, knees, push up. Step, step, reach to the top. Everybody else, here we go, we're out and up. I want that chest to the ground, okay? We're going all the way down. We just did a chest press. We're gonna work our push up a bit here just for 30 seconds. Good. hoo -ah. Six seconds, you can do it. Three, two, and one. Rest. Bulldog row, plank row, kneeling, quadruped row, whatever you need here. All right, start at your knees. I don't want rotation. I don't want the core to hurt or the back. Stay supported here if you need it. Here we go. Let's row it out. If you're in this bulldog position, prone table, we are going to try to isolate our movement in the hips and up shoulders, okay? I want you to stay squared off. No rocking the boat on this one. Back and forth, steady, very steady. There you go. If those legs start to burn too much, step it back or lower those knees. We are halfway team, halfway as a reference. If anybody is like, you know, 30 seconds is good, or I made it that far in this bulldog position here. I'm ready to drop those knees to the ground. Here we go. Come on, throw, release. Watch it, draw in tight, squeeze the glutes, stabilize. You brace here. You can do it. Three, two, and one. Oh, that one got to me a little bit. All right, if you want, for reference, I am. I'm gonna grab my weights again. Hope they don't roll out of place here. I'm gonna spread them a little wider, make this a little tougher. Three, maybe two, and one. Here we go. One, two, stick. One, two, stick. All right. You might say, why am I doing this? I am not an athlete. I don't need quick feet, but we do. We all need to be quick. Our body needs to be able to connect to our muscles, them, the whole system. Joints, tendons need to be able to react quickly to things. You ever almost trip and catch yourself? You want that body to think quick. That's what we're doing here, connecting mind and body. Good job, rest. So yes, it's good for you. Some of my better athletes, some of the people who are athletes have a hard time with that movement, okay? Getting quick movement, so it's okay, we all need it. All right, Swiss squats are coming up. I need a sip of water. 10 seconds, if you need more rest, take it. This is our last round, team. I did 45 minutes foot by so quickly. All right, here we go. Right foot forward, left foot back. Railroad tracks. The tightrope sounds like fun, because I'm thinking circus. But uh, not with the weights here, not today. We want the railroad tracks. Up and down, that's it. Remember that 90 degree bend in both knees. We don't have to go all the way down today. We need our balance. We need good muscle strength, tendon strength for that. There you go, switch. Left foot forward, right foot back. Oh, all right. And again, just because I'm telling you to modify doesn't mean they're making it necessarily easier, I'm making it safer, all right? And we need to build from the base up to be safe. So just picking up your weights and pushing through something when your knees are swaying everywhere, your body is, you don't have balance, it's not serving any purpose. It's better to drop it, get that balance. If it's still not there today, always find a squat. Two feet, that's the most stable there, okay? There's your rest. Oh boy, jump lunges and mountain climbers or step it back, okay? Listen, I don't know, we have a bunch of people here. Some people need to jump, some people don't need to jump, okay? That's good. Find it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and we're down. I'm sorry I'm counting. I know we're all 
on a different count based on what we're doing, but it helps. Two, three, four, and we're down. One, two, three, and four, and we're up again. Yeah, you got it. I'm not gonna count, I'm doing four counts. And when we're down, you can step it out slow. You can run it, your workout. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, good mornings, slowing it down. Finding our breath, if you need an extra 10 seconds here, take it and then get into it. Here we go. All right, hug this in. Hopefully not crushing my mic. <laughs> All right, find that wall if you need to. I want good form. Soften the knees, push the hips back. All right, we don't have to go too far. Try not to round. Pull those shoulders back. Think about kind of shoving the chest out a little. Soften the knees. That's where most people make a mistake. They lock their knees out and they try to come over and then there's no stretch there. There's no room to move. So your back starts to round to find that movement, that hinge. We're halfway. That's it, push back, kiss that wall. Squeeze to stand. That's it, nice work. Feel the earth over the entire foot. All right, when you stand, you can push into the heels a little bit, squeeze. There you go, 12 seconds here on the clock to go. Oh, hopefully that heart rate is resetting as we bring it up again. Here we go, three, two, and one. Awesome work. All right, weights down there. Remember, squat, lateral lunge, touch, squat, lateral lunge, touch. Maybe it's just a squat. It's up to you, otherwise we're jumping into this. Here we go. Or squat, touch down, squat, kick that leg out and touch. There you go. A little jump squat here, it's just a little one. And out, we're staying low. All right, see how low you, you can go. Well, there's a little bit of that balance in there, okay? A little bit of that plyometric, not a high. One, just a low. That's it, pop it out through that leg. Pop it out, here you go. Woo, come on, three, two, and one. Yeah, all right. Halfway through the circuit, four more exercises to go. You amaze me, here we go. Palms in, elbows in, press. Three, two, and one, here we go. Push it out. And I didn't start my watch today again. But you know what? I'm not going to stress about that. Listen, sometimes we get a little obsessed. <laughs> I'm speaking for myself here. <laughs> and getting all the credit. Yes, I was the kid in school that wanted the star, the gold star on my paper. The 100%. <laughs> it's okay. You know what you did. And don't worry about those calories all the time. All right, so today's probably a little bit higher with the cardio. There are gonna be days that you need to just push the strength, okay? More muscle is going to serve you better in the long run and day to day throughout your day while you're sitting, while you're at that desk, while you're driving your kids around in the car because the only time you're burning um, when you're doing cardio is when you're doing cardio. So when you're sitting, nothing's happening for you. But the more muscle you have, your body is working hard to maintain it. It's burning calories. So just know that everything has a purpose, okay? You'll get there. You need that cardio on your other days as well though. Do burn it up, okay? All right, what do we do there? Oh, burpees, of course I forgot what it was. Who wants to think about this? Let's take our first one modified, here we go. Out, out, kneeling push up. We're working everyone and we're in. And we're up for a reach. And everybody else, here we go. Let's make it plyometric. Hoo here you go. Last one today. So if this is just that thing that <laughs> gets to you every single time, it's your last one right here. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Bulldog row. All right. You can do this, okay? Let's come down to the floor. Keep your knees down if you need to. Maybe walk the hands out a little bit further so you get a little more range to pull back since we're at the floor. All right, hover. Here we go. Row. Roll it over. Oh, and I'm sorry if you don't have a dumbbell that rolls. <laughs> Those hexagons should go over just a little bit, or you could take two weights in between here if you're really struggling. 
All right, or a good one to do is to just grab it, pull it over, and then row. We do those a lot. Pull it over and row. I'm rolling. We're halfway, team. Watch that back. Make sure we're not up here, that we're still hovering. If not, with that neutral spine. If we're not neutral through that spine, I want you to go ahead and bring those knees down. Find your neutral spine. Whew. There you go. And row. Whoa. Bring it over. Those knees, those knees, those thighs are barking. Here we go. Three, two, and one. All right. Oh, dumbbells. We're gonna do our little one twos. All right, good sweat going. I hope you do one two here. Remember, you can spread this out to make it a little harder for that stick and balance. Here we go. One two, march it and stick. One two, and stick. Get the march, and then bring it up. That's it. Stick it. Don't rush it. Make sure you have the balance and take it slow at first. I always feel, feel it out first with a slow one and then start to work my way up, maybe even quicker as I get the movement. Move those arms. Three, two, and one. Cool down. All right. I like the sound of that. Just four minutes. That's it, team, for a 45 minute workout today. High five to you. Thank you for joining me. You motivate me just as much as I'm here to inspire you. Whew, let's get that breath down, that heart rate down. All right. Breathe in through the nose. I always like to end this way. As we do this, let's work on drawing in. All right, it's good practice. The more you feel that and engage, the more you'll be able to do it throughout your workout. So inhale through the nose. Let the belly fill and then the chest. Now I want you to blow that air out through your mouth. And as you're blowing out, I want you to draw the navel in and up. You feel that? It kind of crinkles, tightens up, right? You're drawing in and up. Maybe squeeze your glutes at the same time. Feel that tightness? That's what you want. You're like, Tatum, I'm all gushy. I, I don't feel tight. It's there. It's underneath. It's okay. Here we go. In. Everybody expects that outside to just be solid. We're looking deep in there, okay? Exhale. Draw it in. So we may not see any physically happening here necessarily, but it's happening underneath. You should feel that, okay? In through the nose, last one. Big breath, exhale. Draw it in and up. Feel that crinkling, that tightening. The rib cage kind of presses out against the skin. You're feeling that? Good, that's it, nice work. All right, let's stretch out just a bit. We'll just do a few big movements. We don't have a lot of time today, so we'll take a couple of my favorites. Let's start with our scorpion again from the floor. We'll rotate. A few of these exercises, I like these. We kind of feel lower back release here. We get our chest and shoulder to the other side. Arms out like airplane wings. I get a lot of arms overhead or a lot of arms down here. Get out to the side there. Feel it at that pocket where the shoulder and the chest meet. All right, good. We're gonna do one more each side as we only have two minutes. Oh my, not enough time. I'm gonna do my favorite all out stretch when I'm short on time. So find your back here, bring that right toe next to your left knee, right toe next to left knee, bring your left hand onto that right knee, let it um, follow over to the left here, okay? Whoo, lost my words there. Look right, look away from your knee. Feel that stretch across your chest and shoulder in your lower back. Wherever you feel it most, I want a big breath for two, into that spot, so when you're breathing, Push it in and out of that spot. Focus. Good. Whoop, we need to switch. <laughs> Sorry, my, my kids are leaving. Here we go. Knee to the other side, left knee outside, or left toe outside, right knee. The knee heads right. Look opposite. Notice if the tightness is somewhere different on this side. Breathe into it and out. Nice work. Feels so good. This is my favorite stretch when I'm in a pinch. I feel like I can get the hip, the lower back, up through my chest and shoulder. Some of those really tight areas that we struggle with all right here after a long workout with little time. There you go. Let's bring it in, rock it out. Just a little bit, pull those knees in and up. Nice work there. All right. Oh, we had 30 seconds. I cut it short. 
We're gonna go ahead and take off. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this workout. We're getting some good feedback. Please, we have a community part where you can talk in there, um, leave comments, get to me directly through my email or something. If you have questions, I just received a really nice email from one of our YouTubers here, um, subscribers. So I love getting to know you. That kind of helps you show up. I'll give you some shout outs here as well. All right, you take care and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.